What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Young Black, again. Bobby can't see me. I got the, the shawl on right now. Gotta keep it hooded. You already know. Uh, weird thing just happened. I sent my wife out to go get me something to eat. Like, fuck it. I didn't feel like going nowhere. She said she was going out anyway, so she went and got me something to eat. And she come back talking about she got a surprise for me. And I'm like, a surprise what? Like, I don't really do surprises like that. And then she passes me a bag, which is not anything to do with video games. And I look in the bottom of the bag, and there's a 3DS in the bottom. And Street Fighter. She heard me talking about it, and she went and got me one. Now, I know you guys been hearing me talking, saying how um, 3DS is a gimmick, which it is. Is it worth having? Uh, not right now for the uh, money that they charge it for, but it, it was a gift, so I can't really argue with that. It's cool to have it as a gift. Somebody bought it for me, my wife. I didn't ask for it. She just went and, and, went and got it. So that's kind of cool. And I love Street Fighter, so Street Fighter in any iteration that works is good to me. Nice 3D case. You can see those 3D effects a little bit on the case. Which is kind of neat. Um, I'm going to unbox it now. Waiting to open it with you guys. So we can open it together. Me and my YouTube world. Even though I know a lot of people done did an unboxing for these already. I just wanted to post mines up there. So if anybody's wondering if I got one or not. I, I did get one. Not because I wanted one. But I got one nonetheless. My wife went and got me one. Oh, nice little inside, eco-friendly case. That's what these holes are. Anytime you see a case with holes like that, that means it's eco-friendly, meaning they use recyclable materials to make the cases to help the environment. And gotta love Capcom. Color instruction manual. All right, with character move list. Gotta love Capcom. They make the best fighting games. Um, and they have the best um, pr presentation with their cases, too, if you ask me. All right, so that's Super Street Fighter 4 3D Edition. That's cool. Thank you for that, wifey. Whoops, I just turned my PlayStation on by accident. I was playing um, WWE All-Stars, which is also pretty cool. I got to do a, a review for that. Another pretty cool game you guys should go out there and pick up. Oh, they make the sticker things on the side a little easier to open. Let's move that around a little bit. Oh, that's much better. So you can just peel the stickers off instead of having to cut them off the side of the box. They just peel up. So you can preserve the box if you want. Smart. Oh, it still opens up like the regular DS. Me Plaza at the top. I know you guys have seen all this crap by now. Me Plaza. Um, the AR cards are in here, so do not throw this away. Make sure you open this up and get your AR card games. From inside the box. And this is just instruction manuals, I believe. Take a little look, see. Yeah, it's just manuals in every language in a quick start guide, which none of us that was born on Earth by now know need for a 3DS. The manual. I like to have the manual out, even though I don't really ever read the manual for anything, unless it's something really, really in detail, like opening up the battery case or something like that, or maybe figuring out something with the um, mechanics of the system. So you never know. I keep the manual close. Just in case. Plus, I think the book looks really cool because it's so thick. <laughs> so, I keep the book close. But that's it for this little part of the package. Little Nintendo Power joint in there. Get me to spend some more money. Another thing I like about Nintendo, they always package everything real nice. I'm guessing this is going to be the charged um, cradle. Yeah. 
charge cradle. Uh, a little lighter than I thought it would be. I thought it would be a little heavier than this. Feels a little flimsy. I thought it would be a little heavier. I guess, hey, there's nothing in it really. Well, there's no reason for it to be heavy unless there is a reason. It's nice though. Nice little cradle. Which I think is cool. All the other DS's come with uh, um, just a wire. and You just plug it in and sit it down on the table. I think it's a little cool that um, this one has a cradle. You know, because it's a more high-end system. So it's like, this is not like the other um, DS's. This one is like the the next generation portable for the Nintendo side. Ooh. I love the lacquer on the black one. Black 3DS. Ooh. Ooh. I love the lacquered plastic. When you first open up black lacquered plastic, it's like, wow, it looks really nice. Even though it's going to get dirty real fast and dust and everything else is going to attract to it real fast. But it does look nice right out the box like this. Oh, and they put the shoulder buttons even farther back now, too. I didn't notice that. You guys ever noticed that on this, see? You see the shoulder buttons? They used to be, like, up here. Now they're farther back, so when you flip it open, shoulder buttons are a little lower. I don't know if that makes it feel better in gameplay. Another thing I didn't like really was the, um, they put the analog stick up here. I felt like they should have reversed it and put the analog stick down here. And put the directional pad up there, but um, if they can get the direct the anal I mean, if they can get the analog stick to work as good as a directional pad, especially for Street Fighter, that'd be really cool. But um, we'll see how good that works. I'll let you guys know. But yeah, I'm happy to have one. I can't argue with getting it for free as a gift because you know I do love games, so it's cool to be able to experience it. Where's the stylus on this thing? Oh, okay. Hmm. I thought the stylus was bigger than this when I first seen it. And it's telescoping. Yeah, so it grows. Telescoping stylus. That's pretty cool. Feels a lot more high tech, though, I can tell you that. This DS feels a lot more high tech than the last one. Uh, I think I might get some screen protectors for it so I don't scratch the screen up. But I'm pretty delicate with my um, handhelds, but I gotta get a carrying case and maybe a screen protector, that's it. I'm not one of those guys who go crazy with accessories because they just bought a portable or anything. I just get the stuff that's necessary. That's really it. And there should be a 2 gig SD card in here. Yep. 2 gigabyte SD. It's always good. That's a more than enough memory. All I got is one game right now. I don't foreseeing myself buying mini games for this in the future but if anything just so happens to pop up thanks to my wife now I do have a 3DS nothing else in the box but a charge cable box is empty charge cable cradle and game they didn't put no rubber washers on the bottom of it either I remember on other DS's, each corner has those little rubber washers. So if you put it down flat on like a wood table or a glass table, it'll it'll grip a little bit. Uh, this does these ones doesn't have it. So if you're gonna put it down, try to make sure you put it on a, a soft surface or have a case because that one looks like it real it will scratch a lot easier than a normal DS. It looks like, especially with that lacquered plastic. You know that lacquered plastic even can crack. So you gotta be careful. Um, I, I tried it out at the store already. I really like it. Um, the 3D effect is okay. It's not what I think it should be. If you really want a good example of it, I think Street Fighter is the best way to go if you're going to get one of these things right now. Everything else is, is um, okay, but it just doesn't give you the full depth of the, of the 3D experience. You know, unless you're playing like um, Nintendo, because I heard the 3D is pretty cool in there too, but... It's a dog game. Not too many people are going to want to play that at our hardcore gamers. Maybe a more casual group might want to play that. But, um, yeah, I think Street Fighter, for anybody that's hardcore, is the way to go. 
And it doesn't fit in here too snug either. It's like you can put it on the charger and then you can just pick it up and run. You don't have to worry about unclicking it. That's pretty neat. Oh, I gotta find somewhere to put this bad boy in, plug it in. And they put some rubber washers on the bottom of the um of the charge cradle and has some rubber washers, but it's only two. So it's still it's still pretty slippery. Huh? I mean I don't plan on being any earth any earth I don't plan on being in any earthquakes or anything like that, but shit, you never know. I got kids that they bump it to a table. I want I want to know this thing is not because it's gonna slide right off. Alright, these are the AR cards for the AR games. If you guys are wondering what AR means. It means augmented reality. Um, this is pretty cool. I'll probably check these out later. They give you Mario, um, Link from Legend of Zelda, Kirby, Samus, and the three colored Pikmin from the Pikmin game. It's pretty cool. Nice surprise to get at um, what was it like? Eleven o'clock in the morning, ten o'clock in the morning. That was a nice little surprise. All I wanted was some lunch. Wifey you hooked me up. I thought that was kind of nice. You know, kind of nice. That was nice, and it was neat. And I didn't even ask for it. Didn't even know she had money to buy it or or anything. Just comes back in here with a 3DS. So I love my wife. And she really hooked me up. Um, I don't know what other games I'm gonna buy. I mean, I I seen a Ghost Recon, um, game that is a tactical RPG shooter for um 3DS. It's a 3D game too, but it's a top-down type of game, so I don't think it's gonna be too big on the 3D. But um, it looks pretty neat. It looks like my type of game. I love role-playing. It looks it looks good. It's a turn-based game, so I'll probably get that next. Um, I'm waiting for the big games to come out. Kid Icarus and um. Um, Dead or Alive looks like it's going to be cool, a really good fighting game with a lot of graphics on it. Probably the 3D is going to be real popping on that, really eye popping on that. Uh, a good Mario, I heard they say Paper Mario, which is um, role playing elements too. But I'm not big, I'm not a big Paper Mario fan like that. I I I used to love the older ones, but I haven't played I haven't played Paper Mario in so long. So we'll see if I can if I can buy that and get back into it, make it worth me actually having. Um, that's really it, man. It's the launch of the 3DS for me. A little late, but better than never. Um, I'm glad I got one. God is good. My wife blessed me with one this morning out of nowhere. So, yeah, I got lucky. Now I got portable 3D. <laughs> Let's see how, how much that's going to be worth in the future. Let's see how Nintendo uses this thing. You know, I'm looking forward to it. I'm just... Not a lot of games out right now for it, so I'm just gonna be playing Street Fighter for like a while until something comes out, like a good role-playing game in 3D. That is what I can't wait to see, cause the 3DS, I mean the DS was known had a lot of good RPGs on there, like Dragon Quest and on all. With this type of capability, it can really make the games a lot more eye-catching. You know what I mean? So that if you, even though you're playing a basic role-playing game, with that with the right type of 3D layered on top of it, it might make things a little more interesting. It's not necessary to enjoy your games, so I really don't like that they're pushing the 3D thing because not everybody is capable of seeing 3D. That's one another thing, and um, I don't know. It seems like it's just a little cliche. Like you don't, it's just not necessary. It's like buying a Lamborghini, and then okay, that's not good enough. I gotta put the forty-five thousand dollar rims on the car too. It's like you don't have to. It's just cliche because people do it. You know what I mean? Like peanut butter jelly. It's like uh. Whatever, you don't really have to have the 3D like that. It's just there as the to add something new. But the um the system processing wise is a lot more powerful than a regular um a regular DS. So the 3D is not just the only thing there. So don't think I'm just talking about the 3D like it's a regular DS with 3D. No, the processing power of this thing is a lot more powerful. Um it's gonna be able to run games with um, full dimensional of, with range. That's why they put the analog stick on there because it's going to be games where you can actually interact with everything. Plus the 3D on top of all that is pretty incredible. I just wish they had more um, software to go with the um, good hardware. Um, real gamers stand up. Um, leave me some messages. Um, some comments. Um, subscribe. You know what to do already. Um, real gamers stand up.